Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another one of my videos. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over three of the best Town Hall 11 attack strategies for when you don't have heroes in Clash Lands. So if you're ready, let's get into it. All right, so the first attack strategy we're gonna be going over is the E-Drag Bat with the Flame Flinger. Now the Flame Flinger at the moment is kind of broken and there's always gonna be a couple things that you have to keep in mind when you're doing it. And one of the main things is going to be Expos. Expos are the only defense that can actually reach the Flame Flinger other than something obviously like the Eagle Artillery. So when you're using the Flame Flinger, you're looking for a value, but you're trying to get that value out of the range of Expos. And this right here is the perfect example of that. We can use the Flame Flinger right here and no Expos can really reach it. Look how far off that is. But the Flame Flinger can get the Eagle, create some nice pathing, etc, etc. And so as you can see right here, the Flame Flinger is going to be is going to continue getting some nice value. And by the way, it's using e drags. I'm typically not a big fan of e drags, but they prove to be very strong when there's no heroes. All the three stars that were drag bat related were done with e drags. Anyway, so the Flame Flinger is going to continue going. I'm going to go times four because it's incredibly slow, and it's going after the Eagle Artillery right now. Obviously, a main defense. It's approaching the King. We're also going to use an e drag on the outside. Since we don't have heroes, we're going to need to create that pathing on the outside some other way. And now we're sending in all of our e drags as our Flame Flinger is right about to get that Eagle Artillery. All the e drags are going to be going in just like so, and we want to rage up those e drags. E drags are strongest when they have spell support. Our Flame Flinger just or is right about to take down the Eagle Artillery. We're gonna use the Warden Ability soon, at least I think. Yeah, there you go, Warden Ability used right there as well as a Rage Spell, and it's just gonna continue going through the base just like so. Inside of the Flame fl Flinger, we have ourselves a uh, Dragon Rider and some Balloons. It's gonna keep going and getting some more value, almost like a Stone Slammer would. And here near the back end, we still have five Bat Spells as well as two Free Spells. And then we're gonna go ahead, poison up the Multi Inferno, and keep putting down free spells so that the multi inferno does not have a chance to hit our bat spells as our bats keep taking down defenses. Bats can get insane amounts of value when the, uh, there's no wizard towers or multis present. So whenever there's a, a wizard tower is about to hit your wave of bats, make sure you freeze it up right away or else all your bats are gonna die. As you can see, all the bats are about to take down perfect, perfect timing. And when there is no wizard tower or multi inferno or any sort of splash damage on your bats, they can really just get insane amounts of value. And just like so, that was a beautiful triple. He created his pathing and got a lot of value with that flame finger by recognizing that there's no expos around that area. And he was able to send the e drags through the path that the flame finger created and then have a nice bat bomb near the end of the base. Next, I want to go over some good old Zap Lalo, and this is typically done. It's much stronger on single Inferno Tower bases. So as you can see, the attacker is going to go ahead and start off right here. He noticed that the Queen was outside of the base, and the Queen is one of the most dangerous things whenever you're doing Lalo in general. He's going to go ahead and put down, I think it's just two lightning spells right around this area. And he was able to take down the Arch Tower and the uh, Air Defense, which is very important because the Air Defenses are what is going to determine your Lalo pathing. So by taking down that air defense right there, we have the Lalo path thing going something like this. And plus the single Inferno Towers aren't very dangerous to your Lalo. If those were, were multis, this attack probably wouldn't have gone so well. And then we have the e to kind of replace a Sui almost and take down all the stuff right around here as well as that Wizard Tower that was right there and take out that chunk out of the base. And so if I can screenshot this quickly, as you can see, this part of the base here was taken out. Then we can send in our Lalo, something like that. Now, whenever we do Lalo, we try to take down the CC, and if you can, do it, but sometimes you can't. And so the attacker right here went ahead and decided he's going to use a dragon and a stone slammer to deal with the CC. This is something that you can sometimes do, though it's a little bit risky, and you decide to do it right here. So when the dragon pops the stone slammer, a dragon is going to come out of there, and its goal is to deal with whatever the clan castle is. For example, here's a dragon, and the dragon is going to fight the dragon, and the dragon will fight the dragon. Anyways, Bloom balloons going all around the base just like so rage spells haste spells free spells all that good stuff for the allow to hopefully be successful our dragon is killing the enemy cc to take it down and as you can see the last couple of defense are going down as you can see the balloons are overpowering that single inferno tower if it was multi once again it would be a very different story and this attacker probably wouldn't have gone with this attack strategy here our dragon is still alive fairly low on health because he did battle that opponent cc our lalo is going to be ending off right here we still have one 
a lightning spell not too sure what that's for right here guess the attacker miscalculated what he needed to do made sure to put down the cleanup right after deploying his lalo what's up rami awesome hits from sammy yeah bro sammy is just an amazing attacker making a uh, no heroes attack right here no heroes video and the last hit i'm actually gonna be showing is gonna be a defense it's the one defense I have to show because in YouTube recaps you have to show defense. But fortunately it's a burnt base. Alrighty. And it's this one right here. So Ghost Hunter went ahead and attacked NCC0. I'm not gonna try pronouncing that whole thing. But anyways, let's see what he's at out right there. He went for the queen, I think, or something. Yeah, so he started off by using two lightning spells right here on this sweeper as well as a uh, what's it called? Didn't need the quake. And then he's going to use 6 lightning spells as well as 3 earthquake spells to take down 3 air defenses which is going to create some nice pathing and take down air defenses obviously for the dragons that are soon to come. And because you don't have heroes right here which are often going to be acting as funnelers for your dragons, he uses 2 e drags on both sides and that is going to be what's funneling for the dragons pretty much the entire raid. So as you can see, here's one e drag then the other e drag on the other side and then you can send in all the dragons through the middle of the base just like so balloons obviously right behind and we still have the stone slammer which is going to come in handy quite soon everything just going in through the base as you can see right here and then the stone slammer as you can see is going to get sent in from the top right here so it's going to be destroying this stuff right here which is going to be narrowing the path for the dragons even more which is obviously very important our first rage spell will be put down right here as well as possibly the warden ability Nope, it's not going to get put down. I guess we should probably save it for the back end expo farm, which is going to be obviously very dangerous. And our e drag is going to keep getting amazing chains and keeping our dragons inside. Notice how, because we didn't have the heroes, we had to find other methods to keep the dragons inside. And that's kind of what you want to do with these types of attack strategies. Anyways, the dragons are going for these last couple of expos. We're going to go to expo here because these dragons are just taking down these last couple things and this was honestly quite the overpowering attack as you can see right here and no heroes had to be used beautiful triple what can i say We've got a four star penalty in this war and still one insane the last, last couple of hours our c man is just really red card codes such an amazing clan or uh esports team i think it's both but yeah they won this and it was an amazing win quite intense and a whole lot of really amazing attacks as you just saw a beautiful attack by Sammy which was Zap Lalo and by King Utesh I don't think I'm pronouncing that right which was a very interesting e-drag bat and it was all around an amazing war and as you can see there's the triple Anyways guys, that is the end of the video. I truly do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already because I put Clash Clans on every single day at 2 p.m. and comment what you want to see next. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.